hey what's up welcome back to my channel finding peyote this reading is for if you are dealing with a libra sun moon rising venus north node um whatever sign you are the person you're dealing with is a libra for <laughs> they are libra but the reading is for right now is what i'm trying to say um but i feel like this is going to fall over i hope it does not um yeah so please like this video and subscribe to my channel um and please visit my etsy shop thank you to everybody who has um bought stuff already i really appreciate it and um i am restocking stuff um yeah and this is one of the decks i have for sales mystic mondays holographic decks all the decks i sell are holographic because i think it's cute but i am going to use this in the reading today because it's really awesome and um there is no explanation book with that one that's why it's cheaper so let's get started if you are dealing with a libra i do um three cards for person a three cards for person b and then three cards down the middle to describe the situation um, between you guys and clarify and then do all sorts of stuff so let's, <laughs> let's get started person a Person A has the devil and the hangman. And the sun. Person B. has the six of pentacles the five of wands and the six of swords okay the energy between you guys is the knight of cups something in it there's four <laughs> The Knight of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Emperor. Okay. And the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The seven of cups, okay. Person A could be rethinking all their options right now. They could be just something that they're going through. The Queen of Swords, they're really thinking about what makes them happy. Um, this could be the Libra since the Queen of Swords is on this side. The Devil is clarified with the seven of swords. Interesting. So, um... They could be battling some inner demons. They could be battling addictions. The Ten of Wands. They <laughs> battling them and deciding to like put them down, you know, because the sun is is next to it too. Whatever their oh, whatever their vices are. The Ten of Swords is here and the Tower. Hmm. So interesting on this side. The Four of Cups. The Three of Pentacles, okay. Person A on this side has a lot going on, right? So they're really thinking about, very selfishly about what they really want, what are what is wrong with them, what's right with them, and how to make things right, and like what they really want to do, right? So Person A has a hangman, which means really rethinking things, thinking things over, um, seeing things differently the seven of cups is all these different options have been their head all up in the clouds trying to figure out um really what they want to do maybe having just too many fantasies about what could actually happen their main focus is their own happiness and c cutting things out that don't serve them which 
takes them over to the next pile, which is the devil, the seven of swords, and the ten of wands. And the ten of wands is just really putting down all those um, burdens, which is the seven of swords and the devil. So they could have been hiding their feelings. They could have been doing toxic behavior. They could be um, addicted to things. They could have been cheating, lying, any, any of that stuff um, with all these cards here. But they're wanting to not do that anymore obviously so the sun is here lastly for them with the ten of swords right the ten of swords the tower the um four of cups and the three of pentacles so it seems like they're understanding that they've caused a lot of pain in the past maybe not even with person b but just in general they've done a lot of pain in the past and so um they really was just popping out what was that the ace of wands hmm. so the tower is here because they would like to purge all of that um, and work on things um, in a positive way so things wouldn't be a missed opportunity that would make them really happy the six of pentacles is clarified with the two of pentacles for person b so person b is really feeling like this is not this equal give and take. I don't feel good about this situation. I don't know what's going on. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm giving too much. Sometimes I feel like the other person is not engaged or whatever, you know. The King of Cups is here with this Five of Wands because Person B is starting to hold back their feelings because they don't really want to start a lot of arguments. It seems like Person A really has so much going on. Um, they're not really understanding that Person A is kind of going through all of this maybe to um, approach Person B. What was this? Oh, the Empress. Okay, yeah. I mean, I think person B feels like they don't really want to engage in arguments anymore because they're more engaging in an Empress kind of mentality of not wanting to fight and not wanting there to be problems. Um, understanding that this person is seeing things differently and kind of going through a lot. Um, this person B is like, well, I'm not going to make things worse even if I don't feel like this is even right now they're acknowledging that they are seeing what's happening over here and that they understand mm. the six of swords here is clarified with the justice card which is Libra there's kind of Libra all up in this reading here here and here so it could be either side um, but really moving away to calmer waters with their special people that they want to take with them moving forward um for justice for equality um and the hermit yeah and and really taking this time to reflect and to heal and work on things kind of retreat together um you know understanding that that there's um like a need kind of for rest princess of swords so the knight of cups is clarified with the prince of swords so that could be um you know really like this relationship is really causing both people to look deep down inside and figure out what they want is this offer what they want what is love etc etc right if the prince of swords is like a princess of whatever sword this one says is about um is about research and stuff on yourself so oh the four of wands is clarified with the eight of cups Mm -hmm. And that's kind of really taking this leap of faith with the fool um, to kind of move on to something that could be really nice. Um, people are being really defensive here, but they're also waiting it out with the three of wands, um, clarifying this nine of wands. So um, being really apprehensive, but then also waiting to see what happens. The emperor is like a leader and he's at the bottom here and and leading the situation and um being an honest 
loyal person, a faithful person, um, and like a dedicated rule. And that's clarified with the Ten of Cups, with, um, excuse me, the Ten of Pentacles. Sorry, this deck's new to me. The Ten of Pentacles. And that's an amazing thing to want to achieve because um, we'll see how you guys feel about each other. But it seems like somebody here is doing a lot of work. Person A is doing a lot of work in order to better themselves and kind of see where where they want to be and it seems like there is going to be some type of shocking offer um i'm not wanting this to be a missed opportunity you know to talk about what this knight of cups um is to talk about what the four of wands is which is a uh, forever you know maybe that's what this emperor is saying that person a might take this emperor energy to kind of um take charge over the situation six of wands at the bottom of the deck right now temperance also wants to come out um really balancing out the situation and making things really nice and the world is here too which would be ending karmic cycles so that's really nice um if that could happen too in this situation like they want to do ten of swords purge all of the stuff that's hurt in the back we do a kipper deck person a Person A has distant horizons and not seeing the silver lining in things. This person may be being optimistic for their first time in their life. Person, holy cow, okay. And person B has pathways. We have card 35 and card 36 here. So you guys are just right on track with each other. It's maybe like what you can call like an ebb and flow of how moods are, you know, want, wanting to change and this person kind of stepping back in order to allow this person to change, you know, even though they feel like maybe right now it's a little unbalanced and not equal give and take. They're saying, you know, let's rest and let's do this together. And the pathway is um, also shows the butterfly so person B could kind of be led by God in order to do this too but understanding the pathway is a long road ahead maybe to calm all of this down or allow all that to calm down but this person knows that it's worth it um, and that this one pathway um, will be to you know to the light to what they want the nine of cups with with the prin prince of swords is doing what you have to do it, it's clarified with twin labor which doing what you have to do and not what you want to do so doing that research and digging deep in this relationship to find out um what kind of offer you guys want to give and what offer to take um yeah imprisonment is here clarifying this four wands the eight of cups and the fool rethinking what you think love is and what forever is what soulmates are and not feeling so bound by that um from being hurt in the past like move past moving past this what traditionally was like that for new opportunities and not feeling stuck oh two cards came out okay so the nine of wands and this three of wands is clarified with main male and courtship so that's really amazing that's talking about um, really fighting for this, waiting for this. I'm not wanting to give up on this situation. Um, and the main male might be somebody who is really leading, leading that march, you know, that emperor. <laughs> and then main female came out here. So this main male, let's say, if this is male female relationship, could be in this nine of wands, like not giving up, waiting for something amazing happening, wanting this courtship to happen. And this main female might be the one who's going to take this emperor energy and kind of take control to bring balance to the situation by by being a leader pretty amazing mature man at the bottom so somebody's making great decisions and growing up so let's see how does person a feel about person b Person A thinks that person B <laughs> is kind of that, being reserved, knowing exactly kind of how to love, 
um, in the lower right to let kind of person A go through all this stuff that they need to go through right now. How's person A feel about person B? They feel like person B is like a really stable person too that takes a long time to make decisions. Person A thinks that person B is strong with the strength card. Person A thinks that person B, yeah, the same with this um, hermit card. They feel like person B kind of is taking time to retreat, to rest the sun. They feel like they're the sun. That's it exactly. And the seven of cups, okay, they feel like person B has lots of options, but Maybe that's projecting because person A is one who actually has it. And the Six of Pentacles, okay, they feel like person B is very generous. They feel like person B doesn't really know like what they want though with the Two of Swords. And the same, so the Six of Pentacles and the Two of um, Pentacles, so it's kind of exactly how this person is feeling. This person A knows it. They, they feel like this is unbalanced and um, not really an equal give and take, but maybe person A can't really do very much about it right now because they're going through so much stuff. It's like, sorry for being selfish, you know? How does person B feel about person A? Person B thinks that person A is just like amazing and have like everything like that they need in order to kind of achieve whatever they want. They think they're like a very powerful person who can manifest things. The king of pentacles is amazing. They think that they're stable. They think they're like a capable person, a dependable person. The sun, okay, you guys each think that you guys are each other's son. That's very sweet. And the fool, okay, they feel like they are this new opportunity here too. The six of wands, they feel like that person A is like a success. And the emperor, they feel maybe that they kind of hold back a little bit too. That's person B, you feel about person A. The chariot, they feel like they're a new beginning. Perhaps person B, feel like person A. And they feel like seven pentacles, that that's somebody that they want to build a firm foundation with, or that they have done that already. What is the outcome? The Ten of Cups. What is the outcome? The Ten of Swords. Okay. What is the outcome? What does that say? Okay, so there'll be a decision that the Two of Wands will be a decision of like where to go. Do you want this to be over or do you want to stay together? Hmm. What is the outcome? The Eight of Pentacles, and you know, wanting to like stay to work on this, and the Nine of Swords, um, just being unsure. It's crazy. The Four of Swords, okay, resting. Or the Ten of Swords. Because of the Eight of Swords. Okay, so maybe somebody just doesn't speak up and so the other person is like really hurt. Somebody doesn't make a choice. They feel maybe too because these four... Oh, I just saw that's kind of crazy. The Four of Wands here is one, two, three, four, but there's one, two, three, four of things here. So, you know, that could be wanting to move away from a situation uh, to start something new because they're feeling like somebody could be feeling like being married is like being trapped so somebody doesn't really know you know if they want to do that or not
the death card okay that could be a brand new beginning in the seven of cups it could be you know purging all of these unsure attitude and stuff and the devil yeah hmm. the tower what's the tower why is the tower keep showing up the two of cups well yeah soulmates okay and the chariot a new beginning sure and the queen of swords okay so somebody could be really like pushing for a new beginning and not wanting something to end and so that oops all these cards in here um somebody's going to really want to fight for it with the nine of wands what's the advice it seems complicated what's the advice the hermit okay just take time to think about it like it was um having to do the research about what what love is what you want what you don't want both people having to do that the judgment okay yeah Maybe that's needing to have a talk about this, see where this is going. And <laughs> the lovers, okay. Because you guys are each other's sun, balance, love, and everything, but something's going on with person A. They've got too much outside problems to deal with. And the four of swords take time to rest. And the five of swords, yeah, don't be selfish or angry um, for both sides, whoever's watching this, you know, make sure you just stay understanding and nice and realize that things are going to take a long time and um, that you guys are maybe soulmates, maybe if you're together or not together, you guys are soulmates, so there's no denying that. Um, so best of luck to you. I hope that this resonated. Um, if it did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys later. I'll go to my Etsy page. I'll talk to you later. Bye.